Happy World Water Day from U.S. Embassy Cyprus. We're sitting down today with Ambassador Judith Garber to talk about what water means on Cyprus and around the globe. Ambassador, first, could you tell us a bit about what World Water Day is? World Water Day is a day for all of us to think about the importance of access to clean water for people around the world and the importance of water security and the role that water, frankly, plays in our lives. Water is something that we all take for granted, yet we rely on it so much for our everyday lives. We need to drink clean water. We use clean water in our cooking. We use water in agriculture. We use it even to produce electricity. So water is essential to our economic prosperity, to our health, frankly, to every country's security. While 70% of the globe is covered in water, only 1% is usable for human beings. So that means that this is a scarce resource that we all need to work together to protect and conserve. So on World Water Day, it gives us all an opportunity to step back and think about the role water plays in our lives and what we can do to help work together to make water a more available and more secure resource for all of us. So for Cyprus, how does Cyprus fit into World Water Day? That's a great question, Wes. Cyprus is one of the most water-stressed places in Europe. And with climate change, that's becoming more the case every single day. In just the last year, Cyprus experienced its highest temperature. And almost every Cypriot I meet and talk with tells me about how rainfall patterns have really changed and how the ecosystem and climate is changing here on Cyprus. So it's really important that those of us that live here in Cyprus think about ways that we can conserve water and use it more efficiently. At home, that could be something as simple as fixing a leaky faucet or thinking about the time of day that you irrigate and water your garden. On, on a municipal or national level, it's thinking about using the most efficient technologies possible, ways to reuse water, uh, ways to improve water recycling. So what is the United States' role in confronting water scarcity globally? The United States has a lot to offer, and water security is something that is very important to us. In the United States, we reached our peak water usage back in 1980, but since that time, we've added 100 million people to our population. Think about that. 100 million more people eating, drinking, consuming water, using it, more electricity, more business, and yet we haven't surpassed those levels in 1980. Uh, both the United States government through its experts or non-governmental organizations or private sector have a lot to contribute to trying to make a more water secure world. We have research, data, technology, all kinds of expertise that we work every day to share with others so that more people can have access to clean water and that we're preserving this scarce resource. And this is an expertise that we look to share with others. So Ambassador, what are some things that people can do to help address water scarcity? That's what I love about World Water Day because it gives us all an opportunity to think about what we can do, how each one of us can make a difference. So that's thinking about the water you use in the course of the day, whether you leave it running, the tap running when you brush your teeth. Uh, as I was mentioning before, the time of day you might garden, whether you think about ways that you can safely reuse water in your own home, right? If you don't drink all the glass of water, maybe that's the water you can use to water a plant. Uh, and I think it's also important at the local, municipal, and national levels that governments can also take a look at, at what they're doing to contribute to a more water secure world and making sure they're using water resources as efficiently as possible so we can help preserve this resource for all of us. Now, Ambassador, the theme of this year's World Water Day is the value of water, what water means to you. So to you, ma'am, what is the value of water and what does it mean to you? Oh, it, that's such an important question, Wes. Water how can you even put a value on it? I mean, it's immeasurable. We rely on water for life itself, um, for our ability to drink clean water, for our health, 
for our food. It, it's just the history of human civilization is really one of going to where there are sources of water, water for people to drink and clean and use for agriculture. Um, I can't even imagine the world without access to clean water. I feel so fortunate because millions and millions do not have access, reliable access to clean water. So the value of water, it's absolutely immeasurable. And so it's important to have a day like World Water Day where we can all take a moment and think about uh, what we can do to help conserve this important resource and improve access to water for all. And with that, I'd like to wish everyone a happy World Water Day.